Um, safe, well played. Uh, disappointing not quite to get over the, the line, but um, still a, a terrific test and a great opportunity to test your skills against some of the best T20 players in the world. Yeah, for sure. It's, um, it's pretty special being out there with uh, some of the best probably death bowlers in the world. Um, yeah, it was just it was nice. Obviously, you see them on TV, and you know, then to sort of play against them, you know, score a, score a few runs, and it's uh, it's nice, it's nice feeling. Virtually all of the players on display today, with the inside of appeared in the IPL. Are you a close follower of that? No, some some do, some don't. Yeah, hundred percent. I've watched pretty much every game, so it's sort of uh, like I said, it's pretty cool to see some of them on TV, and then obviously playing against them is pretty uh, pretty cool. Obviously, some of the, the North Amateur first team players given a bit of a rest today, um, so other players getting an opportunity. Take it back to the start, eight for three, two wickets for Brandon Glover and a double wicket made. Serious start. Yeah, it was a proper start. He's been bowling very well recently, um, so it was nice, to see, nice to see him uh, in the wickets again, and uh, and yeah, hopefully he can take that confidence sort of towards the rest of the season. Because one of the things that has been said by the coaches, obviously, in terms of the T20 side, is the need perhaps for somebody to come in and bring a little bit of extra pace. And Brandon Glover's shown there that he's got it and can do it. Yeah, 100%. He's, uh, he's in as sort of uh, that enforcer sort of role. Um, like I said, he's been bowling well um, whenever I've seen him. So it was nice to see him you know, get a bit of confidence and um, get a few wickets. And talk about a test in all departments of the game. Two young wrist spinners in there today, Freddie Heldrick and Alex Russell, and, and both held their own. Yeah, 100%. You know, they've been bowling very well recently uh, in the T20s um, and sort of playing against, you know, bowling against some of the best, best probably players of spin in the world. Um, yeah, they bowled pretty well, didn't they? So obviously they sh their figures show that and uh, hopefully they can take confidence from that. Target was 150. What was the thinking in the dressing room before the start? Chaseable? Yeah, um, we were pretty confident. Even when I was out there, um, you know, with five, six, seven overs left, um, still felt pretty confident. We just kept losing too many wickets. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it just wasn't to be our day. Yeah, they say three in the power play is always a little bit problematic. India lost three in the power play. We lost four, so as you say, it just left perhaps a little bit too much for yourself and the other lower order players to do. Yeah, but obviously, like I said, we still felt pretty confident going into the last five. Um, but yeah, obviously, you know, these guys get paid, pay the big bucks for obviously delivering and, you know, you can see why. Talk a bit about the atmosphere today. I don't know how many were in the ground, six, six and a half thousand, something like that. Have you ever played in front of a noisier crowd than this? No, I don't think so. It's pretty, um, pretty hectic. I can't imagine what they uh, sort of play with in India. You know, obviously, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people over there and they're a lot more noisier than over here. So it was nice, you know, just to, um, just to play, you know, and sort of have the crowd you know, behind you cheering you on and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, hopefully we can get a few more games like that in the years to come. Yeah, the, the decibel level here, if you sort of multiply that 10 times, it's probably what you're getting in the Indian grounds. Yeah, 100%. I'm not sure how the Indians sort of pit up with it, to be honest. But, um, but yeah, credit to them. Uh, it's, it's pretty pretty cool to be a part of this atmosphere, though. Unfortunately, obviously, with events in the last few days in the T20, no quarterfinal this week, which is obviously a huge disappointment. A um, bit of a break now before uh, the return of the championship fixtures. What, what are you doing? Are you playing the second team or what's, what are your plans the next few days? Yeah, head to Taunton tonight. So um, going there, playing a four day match and uh, just sort of trying to earn my way back into the first team. Um, nice to get a few runs and get my confidence back with the Red Bull. Um, but, um, but yeah, the boys are going pretty well at the moment. So just got to sort of uh, do as much as I can to try to get back into the team. Must also mention we talk about some of the other players that were playing today, but Gus Miller making his Steelbacks debut. Presumably, he thinks it's always like this: six and a half thousand screaming spectators. Yeah, I think he'll find pretty quickly it's not. <laughs> um, uh, no, he's he, like I said, he's been playing pretty well recently. Um, been like within in the second team and stuff. He's a very exciting player. Um, he can bowl a bit, which he didn't quite bowl today. Um, but yeah, hopefully he can take confidence from this, and hopefully going forward he can play a few more games for us.